Well, hello there, Mark Risen Hopkins here, Editor-in-Chief of Silicon Angle. Just wanted to uh, say hello to uh, everybody that reads this blog and uh, show you around the new office. we got a lot going on, uh, a lot of changes in the company, a lot of stuff that we're going to get to announce here over the next few days, Silicon Angle related. But the biggest change, personally, uh, in my operations has been moving into the Livid Lobster HQ here in Dallas, Texas and off of my couch uh, in terms of uh, where my work gets done. So I was just going to walk around the office a little bit this afternoon and show you uh, what's, uh, what, what, what being in the office here is like, all the, all the activity and stuff. Uh, before I do that, this here is my desk. That's the lovely view outside of my window. I could just sit here and look at this. I would show you the rest of my office, but it is still under construction. It looks a little bit of a mess, so we'll hold off on that for now. But uh, uh, let's let's go take a walk around. Uh, how many people are now? I mean, you guys you guys are grown and organized. The last time last time Callie and I actually hung out in the same room prior to the move was. Well, it was still it was still Geek Brief TV, and it was shot over at her house. Right, so, right. Uh, what y'all y'all have grown significantly since then? Yeah, yeah. We have here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people here physically. Mm -hmm. um, well, and then well, then you actually it. we've got we've got we've got probably ten ten or twelve because uh, some of our extended team um, that is local here, you know, our web development is done by. Uh, Scott Ellis at VSLS.com um, and uh, Giovanni Gallucci does a lot of our um, social media consulting and, and sh helping us tailor um, what we're doing into the social media world and, and maximize the potential there. So, um, you know, they're, they're here as well. So, I mean, 10, 10 to 12 physically present here and gosh, probably, I think we're pushing close to 30 worldwide um, mm -hmm. because we have a very large... Uh, um, blogging and uh, editorial type staff. Um, we've got uh, our editor in chief is, um, is Dave Peterson, and he's up in um, up in north uh, northern yes northern Washington. So this is what you do all day, Ken? Yeah, pretty much. I rig up weird and interesting ways to do things that a hundred bucks probably would have solved, but I don't have a hundred bucks. <laughs> so what, we're gonna find out a ways of doing it. What what is this solution here? Well, I needed to mount an iPhone to a tripod, but I didn't bring my mount for my iPhone. And Callie's is gone. And Callie doesn't have hers here, so we've got to find alternative solutions to make this work. So I just wanted to make a nice, smooth, uh, centered, rotating thing to do a panorama with it. Mm -hmm. So this is, seems to be the best way of doing it. Right. To get it done today. What precipitated the move to an office? I mean, y'all are all in John's... Y'all are all in John's house doing this, or totally. y'all kind of like tell, you know, yeah. telepresenced or what? No, we were uh, we were at John's house. Mm -hmm. um, basically, when we sat down to to put this whole thing together, the idea was to, uh, at, you know, set up a place to do Geek Beat. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and at that time, we were still doing Geek Brief, so uh, we needed a place uh, to do it. That, you know, we've been doing it at Callie's house. And uh, so we moved over to John's into a um, uh, upstairs bedroom, you know, like a 10 by 10 by 12 odd shaped room. I mean, it had, you know, like octagonal walls at one end. It was very awkward. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we set up in there. And then as we started laying out the plans for what we wanted to do beyond Geek Beat, you know, we started Web Beat and, you know, started doing corporate work and all that. Um, I mean, started doing a live show. Mm -hmm. um, we had a couple of TriCasters in there. So what are, what are we looking at? This is Nelsonville, right? So this is Nelsonville. This is where we do all of our, all of our streaming stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we pull in all the audio from our microphones that are mounted to the actual studio mm -hmm. into this mixer board here. And from this mixer board, we go into our TriCaster XD300, which is our uh, the TriCaster, New Tech TriCaster's HD uh, streaming system. Right. And we do all of our, our production and all of our switching here on, on the HD, mm -hmm. uh, 3, XD300 for our various shows. And that's that. We also take the signal out of the TriCaster and put it into another TriCaster for, um, for uh, in case we need to do a second feed or a, another feed somehow, which mm -hmm. we don't do that often, but sometimes we do need it. And uh, that's basically Nelsonville for you. 
We actually yeah. have new we have new headphone thingy here. So if you guys are familiar with um, TV World hey, at all, uh, Ken, can you put there's this something called down IFBs. there? Let's put it on. Let's put it down there. Ken, our Ken Tran, our AV engineer, is working with us to get our IFBs set up because we didn't have a chance to do that before. We have audio returns going back to the host so that they can hear the videos as they're being played, as well as we can talk to them mm -hmm. uh, using this mic and they can hear that. It doesn't go over the main program feed. Mm -hmm. Good Lord. Can they hear what you're saying? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys, I don't want to tell you the kind of things that he's saying in my ear. <laughs> it's not appropriate for a family show right now, so. The XD300 has uh, support for three uh, HD cameras, either SDI or components. So, well, unfortunately, we, have, we want to use a five camera setup, so three, <laughs> one for each talent, one in the center, and then a couple of extra ones. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, we just use a basic uh, component video switcher into one of the inputs. Uh, Dave uh, can't even catch him in the cameras. I was, I was in there working and I saw y'all talking about it. Yeah. Uh -huh, all right. Yeah, right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Dave that's is desperately you. trying to switch. <laughs> you got to go to the front. There you is go. Is this the right one, Dave? <laughs> yeah. Bye, everyone. So all thanks right. for the introduction. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You did a fantastic um, job. I was, uh, we appreciate those, it. You know, you can can go over there now right. to Dave. Those are bugging me back here on the screen. But okay. Oh, yeah. hey, we'll, we'll take care we'll, of that, we'll Gio. Get, we'll get right on that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get right on removing these plugs over here for you guys, folk. Uh, you know, so uh, now you met Gio. Giovanni. We really, there's really not much more to say about Giovanni that is than Gio. you just met Gio. That's yes, Gallucci.net. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, for one of the inputs. Basically, input three. We actually take that input and we can switch it uh, to one of the other two, other three cameras are attached to it. Okay. Uh, at the time. So basically we can have five cameras this way. And you can do that same thing with any input. So you can have as many inputs as you can have a switcher. This is Southern Engineering. Something like that. Down home. We got a little baling wire, a couple of clamps, and some spit. Where's uh, the duct tape? The du it's gaffer's tape. Gaffer's tape. That's <laughs> oh, it's highfalutin here. Yeah, no, it's expensive duct tape. So I'll plug Lisa Bentley's app here a little bit too. That's, that's the, uh, the You're beauty. You're not going to be able to do much turning though, Ken. Because of the because of all that, and that's why the South will not rise again. <laughs> <laughs> will we do it from Europe? Yes. Do it from Europe.